Today I'm talking with Mike Cargill from Texas Gunworks. We're going to talk about where you can carry a gun as a concealed handgun licensed gun owner. Mike, thank you so much for being here on the show. Thank you for having me. Wow, so the bill never even made it to the floor, it sounds like. Right, concealed carry on campus never made it, never came up in the special session for the first, second, or third session. Um, and concealed carry on campus, what that is, is we're asking for CHO holders, everyone else, everyone, the people that we have vetted and said that these people can carry everywhere else in the state of Texas. They can carry in restaurants, gas stations, movie theaters, right. grocery stores, they can carry in the bank. We're saying those people there, 21 and up, should be able to carry inside of a building of a college campus. All right, so, um, and it, so basically, you know, everywhere else that where there's murder, you know, uh, sexual assaults, uh, everywhere else, you know, you can protect yourself there, but you can't protect yourself on a college campus. So this never came up at all. Okay, so if you have a concealed carry license now, or and you got it, say, last month, and you don't frequent the University of Texas, say, and you go there unknowingly, they can give you a ticket for that with a gun on you? Well, if you go inside, the building is actually a felony. All right now, the way the law is, with the CHL, you can have the handgun on a college campus on the streets, sidewalks, parking lots, or garages. Okay. You can't go into the building, can't go into the soccer field, football field when there's a an activity going on, you cannot participate in any school-sponsored activity. But with a concealed handgun license, as long as you stay on the streets, sidewalks, parking lots, or garages, then you're fine. You can walk all the way through that campus, don't go into the building. So if you have a concealed handgun license, where else can you not go with it? Sure. Anywhere where someone decides to post what they call a 30.06 sign, 30-06. Okay. You can't carry there. So any private business owner that owns a business and they don't want CHO holders, concealed handgun license holders, to carry there, they will post a 30.06 sign. Only the criminals can carry. Okay, right. <laughs> Only the criminals can do anything they want, right? right? Okay, so they usually put those signs at front of the business. Correct. And of course, you know, you can't carry um, in your, your federal buildings. You can't go into the courthouse, anything like that. Um, so those are some of the things you want to look out for. And we, we go over all this stuff in class. You know, so. Now there's some changes coming to the class, right? Yes, that is correct. Uh, starting September the 1st of this year, uh, you'll be able to attend a course and it'll be shorter for you. Uh, right now it's 10 to 15 hours, and then starting September 1st, it'll be 4 to 6 hours. Well, that sure does make it a lot easier for the person who wants to get a license, but how good is that really? Are you learning less? Are you just cramming? or? No, a lot of times we can cover the information in a short period of time. We're actually prolonging that class and stretching it out, showing a lot of videos uh, to make it go 10 hours. So oh, okay. most of the time we actually can you know, do it in 4, 5 hours, 6 hours. We can reduce that time. And so we're saying, hey, you know, and, and actually, in reality, it should be uh, this. It, it should be a constitutional right. You really shouldn't need a class. You shouldn't be made to go to a class. You know, you have the right to carry a firearm and protect yourself as long as you're a law-abiding citizen. So you shouldn't have to sit through a course in the first place. What are the benefits for someone that's going into a class? What would you say to somebody who's thinking about doing it but it's kind of on the fence? I would suggest they take a beginner course first, learn everything about that firearm, learn how to shoot it, uh, learn the safety surrounding that firearm and making sure that your children or any unauthorized individuals don't get access to it. So that seems to be a pretty big problem, uh, people not putting them in safes or keeping them in safes, people not putting them in safes or locking up their weapons. Right, and that's gonna be, that's when personal responsibility, you know, kicks into play. You, as an adult, you're responsible for making sure that firearm doesn't get into the wrong in, into the hands of the wrong person. And there are a lot of gun shows going on right now. And if you want to purchase a gun, I mean, it's amazing. I went to one a few weeks ago, and it was it was packed. Actually, it was overpacked. <laughs> but they're changing some of that too. You mentioned something about this, this square thing that goes on the phone. Right. Uh, for for our viewers who might not know, it's it goes on top of your phone, and you can swipe a credit card. You don't even have to have a machine to do it. Uh, that is causing a little bit of a ruckus inside of the sales at the gun shows and other places, right? Correct. Uh, if I, whenever I do business uh, at my store or if I do business at a gun show, I have, still have to do a background check and all that stuff and process the person's you know, transaction, whether I'm gonna accept cash, check, or credit card. If I'm gonna check, take a credit card, I use Square. Well, no longer am I going to use Square. Um, because they came out just a week or so ago stating that they were not going to allow firearm purchases using their, their credit card processing. So, you know, hey, if they don't want our money, you know, then we're not going to do business with them. Did they give you a sheet or anything that said why they wouldn't allow Square? 
No, they, I, I saw a report. It was on a news report, and, and it's chatter been going back and forth online. They said, hey, you know, they're not going to allow you to use Square when you're doing firearms transactions. So I said, hey, so we're, you know, we're done with that. And, and I'm asking people, I'm asking someone out there who wants a business venture, you know, because I'm not going to get mad at Square. I'm going to say, hey, if you don't want our money, we're not going to give it to you. Right. But if you want a business venture, you want to start something out uh, and, 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 and go forward with something, come up with your own processing, your, your credit card processing company, and go forward. Because now you have an opportunity to get the gun community behind you. Absolutely. And that's a big community. Yes. So, okay, we've talked about Square a little bit. What are you seeing in the trends as far as purchasing? What are the changes you've seen? Well, um, ammunition is coming back a little bit. Um, also, we're more manufacturers are getting their firearms out there, so we're getting more inventory. So that's good. So it's it, we're getting away from the you know the big rush that we had um, early in the year, like January, February, and March. Right. So now we got our inventory, we got our ammunition. So it's starting looking good now. We're getting ready for the winter time. What about nine millimeter? Can you find it? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm only I'm saving that nine millimeter for our students. Oh, I but see. It's, it's I see how you in. are. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in. What about the girls? I hear that there's a lot of pink. Yes. Is that true? Oh yes, we're coming out with um, pink holsters. We have this nice new holster that we have. is a it's a bra holster, and we just we made our first pink one, and it's for a 380, and so the ladies can actually clip it to their bra, and so you know some people call it a flash bang. I think someone's got that name or whatever. Right. We call it a bra holster. So you you someone wants to sexual assault you, pull it up, you give them, you show them what they want to see, and then you pull that gun out and then give them what they don't want. <laughs> nice, nice flash bang. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> wow, that just gives a whole new meaning to concealing, doesn't it? Exactly. Okay. Also, um, what have you seen as far as the ammunition? You said that you can't get a hold of nine millimeter so much, but what about the hollow point? What do you see as far as coming out from manufacturing right now? Are there any changes? Anything new? Yeah, nine millimeter hollow points coming out. Uh, there's a lot of that right now. Also, 45 is coming back. So we're the stock is definitely replenishing. So it, okay. it's it's coming back in. Well, that's a good sign, but that's probably that probably means that they uh, are coming up with bigger weapons, and so the you know when ammunition you, is just. Psh, psh. Your manufacturers <laughs> are actually starting to catch up a little bit, and and a lot of that is because your Department of Homeland Security decided that they were going to stockpile so much ammunition, getting ready for whatever they're getting ready for, so that you know depleted stock. Plus, people were. Um, what the president said, his current administration, mm -hmm. of coming after everyone's guns. People just started started to um, you know say well maybe we should you know start you know hiding some ammunition and stuff like that in our homes you know because we're you know not sure what the government's going to do. It's hard to tell because there's not a lot of truth coming from from a, you know D.C. Exactly. district of criminals. <laughs> exactly. So speaking of Department of Homeland Security here in Austin, they're going to be doing some kind of training uh, in the next three weeks. I don't know if you heard about it, uh, but should we be on the lookout for anything? Would you say? Tell you, have your cameras ready. You know, uh, be aware. Make sure that you don't have any false reporting going on. You know, you don't have some some cover up of of some other you know activities or something like that. So definitely be on your p's and q's because I'm I'm always skeptical whenever you know DHS steps into a town. There's something weird always happens. Right, it seems like it. Right. DHS. Hmm. Well, and especially yeah. when you have the University of Texas involved. Yeah, you know they were flying the Doomsday plane here a few weeks ago, and that alone gives you that creepy vibe. <laughs> but to think you mix that up with the Department of Homeland Security and it being right at your front doorstep makes right. you want to lock the car doors when you're driving, doesn't it? Oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> gotta be aware. Okay, did you see the urban assault vehicles that they've been giving to the police departments? No, I have not. Yeah, take a look at that. That'll wake you up. Ugh. Seems like the military's been doing some donating. Well, you know, people need to get out there, um, purchase that, that firearm, learn the safety surrounding that firearm, and learn how to use it and protect themselves, get you some ammunition and stockpile it. Because I'm telling you, when, after they, they, when they come after your guns, give me your bullets first. Hey, and tell us more about your place, about your store. Uh, Central Texas Gunner Works, we actually just started doing level three, level two, level three, level four private security. Uh, we also do beginning handgun class. We do concealed handgun class and advanced pistol courses. Um, we like to try to help people 
uh, deploy that firearm when they need it for self-defense, uh, whether they're going to carry it inside their ankle, on their strong side, small to back, or for the ladies inside that purse. Right. We want to help them or actually. In bra, huh? Or in that bra. Or in that bra. We want to help them present that firearm, you know, to stop that threat because they may only have three or four seconds to draw that firearm. What's the next class you have coming up? We have um, a concealed handgun class that's going on right now. We have a concealed handgun class going on on Saturday. We do them every Saturday, every other Sunday, every other Thursday, every other Tuesday, <laughs> and we do private one-on-one -on -one classes. Okay, so you do it all the time. We do it all the time. All right. Well, I just want to thank you so much for being here, Michael. This is exciting. Wow. Thank you for having me. And like I said, when they come after your guns, give them your bullets first. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mike Cargill sounds like he's behind the Second Amendment. Are you? Show your support by going to InfoWarsStore.com and get your Second Amendment t-shirt, your Come and Take It t-shirt, or if you like pink, you can get your pink t-shirt. Yes, it's got a pink gun on it. I've got my t-shirt with a pink gun on it. To go with my pink gun, I'm going to purchase and my flashbang holster. So get your shirt today. Whether you like pink guns or not, you can get a Come and Take It t-shirt. I'm Gigi Arnetta, and this has been your InfoWars Nightly News. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com, the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro filtered sports bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod Kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter.